Hello, welcome to Mitford Pottery. Today's video is a test piece. Um, we did make some for a person called Joseph Sandal makes candles. Uh, he wanted some ceramic candle holders, so we've done some, but now we want some sort of agate ware ones. So we'll move the camera down so you can see what's going on. So 350 grams, we've got white and then white, black and green mixed, very small amount because we just want a very light swirl of uh, through the agate ware. So it's 350 grams of clay and we basically want eight and a half across by about nine and a half height. So we'll see what we can do. So we'll get up to speed. So it's just been prepped this so it may be a bit, uh, may not have settled enough because I found the agate where the coloured bits need time to sort of mature with the moisture because it's quite a dry mix. So sometimes it it rips the clear when you start to lift it, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. You can usually tell on your corn up. So, because it's only a small amount of clear, don't have to do a massive corn. So we're going to centre it. So when, because it's a small amount, and basically using one hand. Not doing a very good job of centering it actually. So we got that. So I was eight and a half. Uh, not much wider than that, that's alright. So we got that, we break in. It is a test piece after all. Right, so we'll open it out. about there. So we'll slow it. Colour it in a bit. Slow it again. I'll sort this space out. That's it. Right. Put your water on. So we'll do our first lift. So this, it's more proof of concept more than anything. And I'm looking at it now, we might need even less colourant than we've added. Oh, I've got a proper wobble on, haven't I? And who knows why we got that wobble. Hands up. Who knows why. Need a 
pin tool well we have that wobble because we never centered it properly it was just a little bit off so that's give us an uneven top so now we're gonna have to even that out a bit so we've got uneven wall thicknesses that's the problem that is the problem no no the walls is all right it's just there the centering was a bit off by the looks of it wall thickness looks okay so how much height how height have we got to go so we got to get nearly double the height I'm going to push in, push out, grab that clear. Six and a half. Oh God, I've got another couple of centimetres to go yet. We need to go a bit slower. Go back there and push in, push out. Might need a bit more clear actually. Yeah, about a centimetre shy still. Well, actually, if you get a proper ruler, can't measure with that because it doesn't go right to the end. We'll get the metal one. Get the metal one, see what we're at. Oh no, we're on. We're on nine, so maybe you get out a little bit more. like for diameter yeah we're on track so maybe it's just we'll use our rib to push that up a little bit further and I think we're nearly there so dimensions are right we've just got to finish Finish the form off, so we're going to use our wooden rib. Put our hands together. So I'm going to push in at the base. And I'm going to push against that. That's it. Too bad. The base is looking thin. Looking thin, looking thin, looking thin. I need a chamois. Not prepared at all. As always. Put that in there. So 
and that's that. So now we trim. <clears throat> Not as much weight clear at the bottom as I was expecting. I'm going to get a bit more than that. It's nearly. I think we'll use less colourant in the next one. So, this is where the magic happens. So, we get our metal rib and we pull that against the surface. And that exposes all of the grain. And what I'm going to try and do on this one is expose a bit of that grain on the inside as well. So I'm just going to mop a bit of water out and hopefully I don't destroy it. Push my luck. Not push the luck. That is it. Right, so what our dimensions are like, eight and a half, which is okay because it's going to shrink, eight and a half could be a bit taller, could be a bit taller, I think we're going to need extra clear when we do these again. Now normally I would spin the wheel when I cut it off. I'm not going to do this time. So twisted cut off wire. You know toggles nice and good. so what I'm gonna do because it's quite thin. I'll just do it that way. Dry hands, dry pot. So we're going to lift it onto a little square of wood so it can move it about. Clasp. Lift. Twist as we lift. So the bottom's white, which is what I want, but I wanted that to go up about an inch. And as you can see, that's where the white bit's gone there. It's gone further up. But it actually looks quite nice. The unpredictable nature of agate wear. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Remember, clears the way. And hopefully, if uh, Joseph Sandal likes these, you might see them in his Etsy shop very soon. Clears the way. See you in another video very soon. Bye for now.